Hello and welcome to Butts to Nuts, a movie review podcast hosted by me, Ben Charlesworth, and my brother, Scott Charlesworth. Hey. Uh, Scott, everybody feeling it after the movie? Uh, Three, two, one, go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. 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 to the chorus. Don't leave me just right. Ah. <laughs> hey, do you want to have a dance off <laughs> in a in a blizzard in Serbia, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> no, keep going. This is your rap bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can't freestyle. I, I, I will not freestyle. Did you like that? That was though? pretty good. Did you that like the start good. of that bar? Bruno would be proud. I'm sure he will. I'm sure Anderson would be proud as well. The whole of Silk Sonic and um, their live crew. Who else? Maybe Sting. Sting, Sting would might be, be so proud. proud yeah. Uh, Mark Ronson, Rosen, maybe. Uh, um, uh, Betty Flume. White, rest may you rest in peace. Flume, yeah. Um, Dolly Parton. Um, the early two thousands. Uh, oh no, early twenty tens group. Uh, Rudimental. One of the Bee Gees. Yep, may, Barry. One of, one of the Beatles. The the Beatle before the Beatles. Just a beetle, a Christmas beetle at June. Um, <laughs> and Sting. And Sting. We are a podcast and we review movies. And for oh, today's movie... Introdu- introduce us now. <sighs> yes. The, the 12th podcast in. <laughs> are we? 12, 11? This is number 12, man. No, it's not. It's 11. No, bro. This is fucking 12. No, this is 11. I want you to fact now check this. you've ruined it. Because, <laughs> because, no, let me fact check right now. But oh, shit. It's 11. This is 11. It's 11 because we recorded one yesterday. Hang on, hang on. That's hang on, not wait. coming out we'll, for we'll, a while. No, no, we'll restart. We'll just pretend we haven't had this conversation. Oh, this okay. is 11. This is 11. 11. This 11. is episode 11. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you're introducing the podcast on episode 11. And. <laughs> We, we review movies. And a lady got angry at someone in the car park as we were leaving. Because we saw this in the cinemas. We went <laughs> we, to the cinemas. We saw Sonic 2 in the cinemas. And, wow, it it wasn't as an exhilarating experience as I would, would have wanted it to be. But the most exhilarating part, as Ben mentioned, was a bit of road rage in the car park. We're trying to pull out, and then... Yeah, we are trying well, to pull out. Every, oh, um, every time after we watch a movie, I have to get our thoughts down straight away because sometimes there's breaks in between um, watching the movie and recording the podcast. Like today. Today has been the biggest break, so we'll see how we go. Usually we record the podcast straight over, straight after watching the movie at home. Over the movie, as we're uh, watching over the, the movie. movie. Yeah. I love this movie. Yes. It's great. Live reactions. But today, we had to be quick on our feet, pull over on the side of the road and quickly get whoa, some notes whoa, down. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're jumping home But before source. that, we were in the car park. We're trying to leave. Then yeah. I was saying, let's just write the notes in the car. All right? Let's just write the notes in the car. Then homie comes along, guy in a white ute. He's like, nah, bro, I want to get in your spot. We're like, no, that's chill. We see what you're doing. We'll head the out. The car park's packed. We'll let him come in. Lots of crazy mums around. We'll yeah. get out of there. School holiday rush. All the soccer mums. So homie wants to reverse in. Scott's about to turn out. Then this lady in a little Suzuki comes around and starts pointing at us to like drive out. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's for this guy. It's for this guy. And she's like, no, no, just drive out. So I'm like, oh, she just wants me to drive out. So maybe she's just letting me go. And I then realize as I've gone that she's going to steal the spot. And this like bloke Breaking gets, Bad, like that episode in Breaking like Bad. Like that episode in Breaking wow. Bad. <laughs> it's all connected. Man. The, the things that we connect in life, right? Yeah, it's a small kick on, kick on. Bald bloke comes out of the car that was waiting for us to take our spot. And he's like, oh, and then there's beeping and she's like beeping and fucking it's going off. And we're driving off and like Ben's like, don't worry, you'll get your ticket for free. Because we didn't spend that much time in the parking. You went after And we pay. did. And then as we were driving off into You could the hear sunset, the beeping still. There was beeping. Oh, man. And there was, was like, crazy. we turned around, there was like another three cars getting involved. Oh excuse, oh, excuse me. Oh, that was, that was, oh, that was that good stinks. shit. That stinks. Yeah. It smells like oregano and like mold. 
That's bad, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like some of that on my pizza. Anyways, yeah, it all happened. And tails were cool. All but happened. We didn't the get enough center. of them. Mm. Damn, knuckles and tails were cool, but we didn't get enough of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, there were multiple points in this movie. One point in particular that we will touch on more specifically later. No, let's touch it on now. Let's get right yeah, into it. Yeah, do we want to just jump into it? I feel like we don't want to lose momentum here. Let's just get right into this it. This movie is called Sonic 2 for a reason, but you show 15 minutes of some aunt, like weird auntie lady, like sister-in-law's wedding. I don't know. We had for a 15 prob- minutes. We had our biggest problem, if I remember, in the Sonic 1 episode. Yeah. Go listen to that now, everybody. Go it. listen to it now. Because we had our biggest problems with the auntie in the first... Like, that's where our main problems lie. Like, this Her humour was, was terrible. The acting was so forced. It just wasn't funny. She was not good. I don't even know the actor's na- actress's name, but... She made the return in this one, and they had to make a whole other subplot about her in this movie. And for some reason, that was more important than Sonic and Tails Actually, saving the world. Yeah, and it was stupid because... They, they sidelined the whole fucking movie for this one moment. The whole montage... Oh, um, not montage. The whole um thing where all the agents are out looking for them as well. Yeah. Also, what was up with that dude, the um, Asian dude... When the two sisters walk along yeah. and he's aiming the gun at her. You know the guy gets flung into the air? Yeah. He held the taser at them for that long. He could have just shot. And just taken them down. That is a shit agent. That Look, is a terrible agent. This movie didn't have its priority straight. Two the, hours. Two hours it went for. I thought this movie went for a long time. Yeah. So, I was wondering why we weren't to like the biggest point of the movie yet. Yeah, every time I thought it was nearly... Like, I thought the temple bit would have been the end. But no. The Eggman looked cool. I'm not going to lie. The Eggman suit. We're going to... I'll just be a bit jumpy here. We'll keep the flow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. Yeah. But no, it wasn't. It just kept... Things just kept happening. It, It didn't have a constant flow that we could just jump on. It wasn't like doing this serious tone that it started with Knuckles at the beginning... And then <laughs> it does all this goofy shit throughout. Like, it didn't have a set tone. Mm. And I want to say, we're not stupid, all right? Mm. We know that this is a kid's movie. Yeah, exactly. We were in a cinema full of kids, and, well, weren't they just well-behaved? I thought they, they would have been the worst part They of the didn't movie. make a peep in this movie. Yeah. It, there was no... Uh, there was no point in the movie where we heard a massive reaction to a, a joke that happened on screen. Yeah. There wasn't... A massive reaction from any parent either. Yeah, no one was laughing. Now, what does that say about the movie? It says your jokes are flat, they're not flying, and you're trying too hard with all this forced humour. Yeah. It's not funny. And I've seen some... Pe- I watched um, Moist Critical's video and he said he liked it. And I was like, what? See? I'm yeah. losing hope in that man Different, sometimes. Differencing in opinions. Yeah, I don't know. And it's... But, like, he... Differencing in opinions, man. But... I have a feeling that logical people will go and see this movie and they will compare it to past animated movies like Shrek. We keep making this comparison, but it is a prime example of what you can do right with an animated movie to make both kids and parents laugh. Yeah. Good jokes, but a compelling storyline that takes you the whole well, way through. Pixar movies as well. Pixar as well. movies as well. Toy Story is a prime example. Cars. Especially Cars. Yeah. Nemo. Nemo. Incredibles. Do I have to say any more? Yes, we do, because we have to fill out time. Yeah. But like, you get the it picture, was, It right? was a lot of mindless noise, this movie. Mm. It, like, there was points where I think we're... Right. Tell me a point that you liked. Tell me a part that you liked. I liked the design of the characters. Yes. I loved the design of Tails, especially, with flying in the air with the plane, the gadgets, the goggles. Loved Eggman's design, like you said. Yeah. I loved his big moustache. It was overplayed. Uh, the giant mech suit... That he somehow built with his magical powers at the end. We'll get to that. But <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't have a problem with the somehow bill. Yeah. Was, that makes I mean, sense. That, that, that was that was a part of the plot. Yeah, geez, mate, come on. Bloody but, hell. It's a, it's a kid's movie. Calm down. You don't have to get into the logic. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Listen to this guy. It's old logic logic Larry <laughs> over here. Logic Larry. Calm down, mate. All right. I like the design of the mech suit. That yeah. was a nice callback that- to his traditional look. Mm-hmm. And the design of Knuckles was very nice. But yeah, I just thought, man, it was samey, 
but it didn't bring that much newness to it. Yeah, I I wish that I we know, had a man. bit more. Yeah, hey, you don't know, do you? Mm. Bloody hell, mate! What was that? What was that <laughs> bloody comparison? <laughs> you just paused there, looked okay. to the looked to the table, and then said, I don't "It know. was samey." <laughs> you got there in the end, mate. It's a bloody roll. It's a bloody roll. You got there. Yeah, <laughs> don't throw me to the ground. No, come on, mate. It's a bloody <laughs> roll, mate. You got there. You the end. But yeah. All right. So What's I have a, I have a point. Yeah. Let's cover voice acting. Yeah, so, I thought it was decent. I thought overall it was decent for the voice acting characters. Uh, Idris Elba, he did a good job with Knuckles up until the end, and they just wrote his character too cheesy at the end. Yeah, but that's not him. That's not him, but he did a good job for what he was given. Yeah, I, I thought he was good. I, I thought Tails was great. And, t- oh, uh, what's her face? Um, oh, the, that voice of Tails, she is a wide-renowned voice actor or voice actress. I, oh, yeah. I, I don't... I, I can't remember. I looked up a few things that she was in before doing this podcast. I've completely forgotten. But, uh, yeah, they actually got a professional voice actress on for that. I think she was the voice of BoJack Horseman. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I think she was the voice of BoJack Horseman, actually. Oh, she voiced uh, the Wasp in Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes TV series. Yeah, that's, coming from Big Roots. That's from Big Roots. That's a bit of nostalgia for you there. Big but I, that's why I knew Tails had a good voice. It was professionally done. Yeah. But Sonic, though, we just had a chat about this before we started the podcast. Mm. I'm thinking Sonic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we got the old actor that played Sonic in Wreck-It Ralph and the Sonic TV show. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. I think that this could have been carried a lot better. Maybe yeah. even get those writers on for this movie. I don't mind Ben Schwartz. I don't mind him. He right? does an okay job. He just sounds so goofy and kiddy, which I understand it's like he's a kid. He's but Sonic cocky. just doesn't feel like that for me. No, he's supposed to be more snarky and mature. Yeah. Like, he's, he jokes around, but he's not supposed to be a goof. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn, oh. My, my balls oh, no. just went Bloody into hell, my talking throat. about kids. Look at this little boy, eh? <laughs> hey. Oh, fuck me. A couple of hairs are sprouting on your chin. Oh, You're getting big. shut up, you... Doofus. You doofus. You little you little nincompoop. Oh, you're getting hard to come up with comparisons <laughs> today. You know, bloody hell, look at this guy. Look at this funny guy. Everybody turn around and have a look at this guy. Stare and point. Look at this stupid boy. <laughs> Everybody stare and look at this stupid boy. <laughs> Shut up, you stupid slut. <laughs> <laughs> my balls are in my throat, man. Uh, I'm just going to keep sipping on this water. Everybody point and laugh. Mm. But yeah. yeah. What, what do you think? I. What do I think? Yeah, about the snarkiness. I feel like if they, I think it was dumb. Yeah, yeah. He was he was too too goofy. I wish there goofy. was a bit more. Uh, Jim Carrey flossed. Jim Carrey flossed. Now we already saw this in the first movie when Sonic flossed, and we said to each other, you know, why would you put a joke in there that's not even funny that's going to date the movie back? Well, here we go. Also, we had it again. Flossing's not relevant anymore. It's not relevant. But I mean, I guess it is. We've got to expect more of this coming forward, I think, with children's movie. There's going to be more Fortnite dancing. It's because... It has to be... Big producers. It's mandatory. Yeah, big producers are looking at what kids want, and they want Fortnite. They want Renegade But Raider. that's only because Fortnite's been pushed towards them, and they, they've they made it so they want it. And, you know... The kids of our generation have chapter been three, manipulated. Chapter 3 is out now, and everybody's excited, all right? <laughs> the new season is out. Oh, fuck Bro, Doctor Strange, I'm serious. I it's can't insane. believe that. I cannot believe uh, Who cares? Who cares about that game? Anyways, that's uh, that's another topic. But yeah, good you know what? Strategy, I, I agree that there should have been way more of the actual Way more character. flossing. Yeah, way more, way more flossing, you know. Everyone, the end oh battle should have been... I didn't want to see a sick anime battle by um, Knuckles and Sonic. I just wanted to see them all floss in yeah. the maze. What, how did you find um, Super Saiyan Sonic? I actually thought that was kind of fucking mad. Yeah, that was sick. I thought there should have been more of that. Every time there that was... That should have been the tone of the movie. Every time there was um, Sonic battles and shit, the snow thing was awesome. That was cool. Yeah. Um, the anime battle between Knuckles and Sonic, I wish it didn't go on for only like 30 seconds. Yeah, they should have gotten some good hits in there. That was mad. You know, give us the rating of the movie a little bit. Because my biggest problem here 
happens with every time a fight happens. Yeah. Some poor bastard just gets knocked over and then saved at the last minute. It's not like the fight went for a long either. It's There's like no stakes. They quickly cut it off. Yeah. Someone falls down. You're like, oh, okay. Tails hasn't shown up for a bit. His tail's going to come in the cop car. Yeah. Oh, hang Oh, hang on. Something's going on. Oh, yeah. They got in the car before. They got to save Sonic and yep. give him the emerald or some shit. Like, come on. Give me some time where Sonic can be an actual hero and get up himself and keep fighting. Yeah. Man just kept getting saved. Or he was saving others, like, tails and shit. Like, how just... many times did people get... Or hedgehogs get knocked unconscious? Or foxes or... Um, a few times, um, quite a few times. Uh, echidnas or whatever, who gives a shit? Knocked unconscious or just knocked down. I, I completely agree. There should have been more aggression. Yeah. And it, you can't justify it by saying, oh, it's a kid's movie. You can't have violence. No, look to something like The Incredibles and you can see how you can work violence in a way that suits the story and doesn't push it too far. Yeah. I that's think that's well, how they could have gone. I, I think as well, the human focus, whatever, it's always boring in these movies. But It's the same thing with Transformers movies. Yeah, you know? it's fine. They I, have to I, put it in. I, I like James Marsden, but why didn't we get more... Like, if we were going to do the human stuff, yeah. could, could we not just keep doing more of him? Like, James Marsden is Not more probably, of the same, yeah. is not what I'm saying, but just like f- make another fleshing out story with him and his wife. Like, they're cool, I like them. They're, they are probably the only... They are the only likeable people humans in this entire thing other than jim carrey at moments yeah he dropped the ball in this one i think there wasn't as many fun Mm. uh physical gags from him i don't know i think he's pretty good at most of the time he played his character well but i don't think he was given the opportunity to improvise doing those solo sort of things as much anymore no probably not but i like the intro though when he came up with the, the traps and stuff yeah that and the First scene of Sonic being a superhero thing, that was sick. That, that was, was cool. Sick. Yeah. If the movie was more of that, I would have been mad. <coughs> Damn, I can't wait till this cough goes away. Mm. Oh, it's really getting on my nerves. You know who else is getting on my nerves? What? You. How about you give me a point? The only funny point that I got from Jim Carrey uh, with his vocal gags was the Limp Biscuit joke. I didn't mind the Winter Soldier joke. Nah, uh, that was too forced. That was like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that was too modern pop culture sort of thing. What do you want? Past pop culture? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this I guy, want. What he, what I don't he, know what I want, man. Yeah, I don't know what I want. On, man. I thought the Winter Soldier joke was a little bit on the nose. But no, nah, I, I thought the, the backstage pass Limp Biscuit joke was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think there was a lot of Chevy product placement in this as well. There was a lot of, a lot of Chevy product placement. At the end when they're driving through and yeah. Sonic's down, like, no, nah, oh. I get a Chevy. Yeah. <laughs> and they drive through. And it's, I, I could just imagine them saving um, Sonic and then it just comes up, Chevy <coughs> beats any Eggman. <laughs> that's, wow, well, that's prime marketing right there. Beats any Eggman. What about the Oreo stuff when he, he took the Oreos over Chips Ahoy? Oh, that was all right. Yeah. Well, you didn't like that. No, I liked that. Go on, man. That was a bit of... That was good product yeah. placement. I like that. Well, what we were saying before you coughed and then um, we you did the cut in edit... Yeah. ...was um, I, I wish that, yeah, there was more of the first... What the first 10 minutes or whatever, 15 minutes were setting up felt yeah. really cool. And then it took a massive tonal shift, I reckon, when mm, Tails and Sonic met. Yeah, that's true. They were good together. I'm not saying they weren't. But I just wish there was a bit more of like the stuff before because the whole thing was about trying to act as a hero, right? Yeah. And learn what it is to be a hero. They kept, um, they pounded the message over your head really forcefully and did it until you were curb stomped into you a gutter. Need, you need, you know, friends to help you out with stuff. You can't just do everything alone. So and... blatantly obvious, man. They literally spelled it out. Mm. And I was like, oh man, multiple times. Lots of. Yeah, lots of cringy dialogue um, in the house as well before they went to Hawaii. Uh, also, yeah, for sure. This was dumb. All right, so Sonic yeah. put... Sorry, I'm going on a lot. No, no, right? no. Yeah, you're, not, you're fine, Mike. I'm not letting you speak a lot, but I'm, I've got a lot to I'm say. I'm going to pull your bloody nose. All right, I'm going to pull you up on that. <laughs> what the hell, mate? I'll pull your pants. I'll pull your pants. <laughs> Honey, where's my pants? Honey, 
<laughs> Where's my pants? And he goes to Hawaii, James and um, what's her name? Tika. I think Tika? that's the actor's name. Yeah. I don't know their na- character names. Yeah, because that's not important. Like when they so it's Sonic sees them go to Hawaii. James yeah. knows they go to Hawaii. They go straight there. Then later on, James rings him. All right, mm. when Sonic's having his party at his home by yeah. himself, and then he says, "How you doing, buddy? I'm just telling you that we got here safe." What? 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 Or he said something like, "I'm getting telling you that we got here safe," or uh, "We've just arrived," or something. But that that is yeah, that is a dumb point because they literally just arrived when they walked through the portal. Yeah. So there's no need to say that at all. Like, obviously, he's just wow. he should have just said, I'm ringing up to check on how you're going. But that he said, oh, we, writing. we just arrived or some shit like that. Yeah. I was like, what? Man, I didn't even think of that. What a stupid mistake. Am I right? That's pretty dumb. That's, and that's pretty dumb. what dropped it one point from me. Oh. One nug. It would have yeah. been a bit higher. Sound effect. It would have been a bit higher, yeah. but then I had to drop it because of that stupid mistake. I'm with you there. Hit Man, you the just point. brought that to my attention. I'm seething. You're... I am I am raging at the at, at, at my buttock, my buttocks. Are, my... You, you, you're a bit slow today, aren't you, mate? You're, you're struggling. <laughs> my to cheeks make, are sweaty. You're struggling to make comparisons. My knees you? are weak. My palms are sweaty. sweaty. You're getting you're a bit <laughs> slow. I understand. This is probably the fourth time now that you've tried to make a, compar- a comparison and you've taken a little while. Look, I am I just want to play some fun party, fun park party on the Wii. Yeah? You know? Hit me with a point. Well, I really like the little callback on Donut Lord's phone. Yeah. James, James Marsden's phone. Uh, I like the, the traditional Sonic theme. Whenever that pops up anywhere, I just go back to playing PSP. And playing the old Sega Mega Drive games and playing the original Sonic on that. Like, yeah. That, oh, that theme song is so iconic and I'm glad that they put this in the movie. There's just a little, little hint. Two there. Sonic things. There's one good one and there was one terrible one. Okay. All right. The good one, the amazing one, was when he said, gotta go fast. That was not bad for me at all. I love that. Yeah. I don't know. It it's didn't feel iconic. For- that didn't feel forced at that I moment. Gotta go fast. But the, the way yeah. that it was built up, that didn't feel forced at all. Yeah, that was fine. That was pretty chill. However, the one that was shit was uh-huh. the manual bit. Like, reading the manual. Because you know the how, manual. like, you used to... Like with games, you used to have to read the manual to get like extra tips and tricks. Oh yeah, that's right. And then, um, wait, where, where was this point in the movie? This is completely. When the assistant was like in the um, Eggman thing, yeah, and Eggman didn't know how to do something, and then the assistant figured it out. Oh, the mustache, the mustache smashed. Oh, Tails is playing. He's and like, then he said, oh, oh, read the manual. Read the manual. That's like a reference to like to like reading the manual. Reading yeah. the manual for video games, Think, like seeing oh, how do I do this move or. Some shit like that. How did you do the, that? Because the, the manual. The manual's actually for you, for you youngins. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Uh, you wouldn't remember, Scott. You're too young. But <laughs> too young. for yeah. you youngins, the manuals used to like contain not just tips and tricks, but the all sorts codes. of shit. And it was like yeah. actually, it was actually detailed, and they took time and care. And it was like cool to read the manual. But now all you get is like a a little piece of a, paper of promotion for other games DLC or something. Or something. DLC, yeah. yeah, or like epilepsy warning. Yeah, that was see see how unmemorable that scene was to me. See, I didn't even know that until you mentioned it. To yeah, me well, that's again. a bad reference. That's I mean, no, reference. like it's a reference to a good thing, but they did it in a bad way. Yeah, poor execution, which there we is go. Bloody hell. Uh, I'm all over it. seems to be a running theme in this movie. Mm. All right, so let's go back to the start when we mentioned the dance off. Oh yeah, <sighs> that was really rough, man. Mm. That was poor. Why? I don't understand. Like, you can't have going. Uh, I don't want to go over too much, but the the grittiness. You want the gritty tone with knuckles, right? But then you have this goofy, weird shit in the middle in a Serbian bar when they're having a dance off, and then all this forced. Music. I wouldn't say gritty's the right word. I'd say more um, serious. Tone. Se- serious, yeah. Gr- I mean, gritty is the wrong word. To well, like there. Sonic, I'm fine with like having Action. goofy stuff. Like I'm fine with having gags, but it's but just it's got to w- play on it well. Like it can't just be a full shift in tone. I think as well a big thing with this movie was just throw a licensed song in there and yes, they'll like it. Exactly. Let's just play ten seconds of this guitar riff from this song and they'll like it. And I think. 
the whole dance scene was stupid. Dance scenes can be funny, but I didn't like it was okay when it was like um they were doing the whatever what the um, traditional Slavic dancing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There yeah, wasn't the Serbian was, dancing. Like, oh yeah, sorry, Serbian. Oh, I, don't, I don't know what the traditional name is for. They it. did say it, but whatever. Yeah. Um, like that was okay. It, they had it, some good moves. I'll, I'll admit they I, had some pretty banging. moves. I wasn't laughing, but I smiled when they were all doing it in unison. In, I was unison. like, that was kind of fun. And then I thought Sonic was going to like do it to the music as well. I was like, yeah, that's okay. That would have been passable for me. No, it wouldn't have been passable for me. But and then and it got then, worse. Though. And then they did Uptown Funk. I was like, Look, I like I like the song Uptown Funk. Yeah, I don't mind it, but I like Bruno. the way it was used was just. Well, it's the way any of these songs were used. They were just thrown in there, and then they were cut for completely. the sake of it. Yeah, you can't just use licensed music to. That's what they think. I reckon executives are in a room. How are we going to get the adults interested to like these movies, man? Oh, okay. let's give them some music from their youth. That they That'll know. hook them in, right? And that's what they do, and it's look frustrating. I, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. But unfortunately, that movie has been the movie to set in stone this trend. Yeah. It has been. We saw it in Suicide Squad. We saw it in the next Guardians. But that's part of the theme of the cassette tapes. We won't go too much into detail. But yeah, it's good in that movie. It is good. Come it on, fits man. the style. But it, you see it in lots of other DC movies. It's in Not just DC. Every, like, all, like, not, uh, uh, not every block, but lots of blockbusters. More action-based CGI heavy movies. Even some movies. Marvel movies use Oh, 100%. Too much. Uh, I thought, I even thought Captain Marvel was a little bit too forced when they used the Come As You Are bit. Lots of the, 90s songs. There's a lot shit. of like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh man, we're trying to get relatable, you know? What were people listening to in this, listening to in this time? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too forced. Like, write your own score or chuck in a song that actually, you know, fits the theme. Or don't piss me off and have Jim Carrey air guitaring to a um, sick guitar riff and then cut it off. A uh, riff, not riff, to yeah. riff, riff, double F. And then cut it off like five seconds into it for yeah. the score to come in. Why have that at all? Or have the whole battle scene with that song. Yeah, I I would have much preferred that if they carried the whole song through because that is a cash grab what they're doing there. Yeah. Just putting a snippet in. Do Yeah, I don't know, man. I, you know what? I actually thought, hey, Dad just walked past the window then. Yeah, he actually <laughs> wasn't there and I was waving to no one trying <laughs> to get you to turn around. And then he actually did walk past. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. The CGI was good for the most part, but it dropped in a lot of areas. Three points I have of where they are. Okay. Do you, where, did, where did it drop for you? I just saw it drop with the same problem that we said in the last Sonic episode with the, the really light scenes mm. and with the sunlight hitting Sonic and him looking real jonky and stuff. Yeah. I didn't yeah. have a problem with the Sonic characters too much. I like how they are. Even for the if most they... part, they were very good. There was a big up upgrade from the last movie. Yeah, even sometimes when they if they do look cartoonish, it doesn't bother me because they're, they're cartoonish in yeah. design. That's right. Um, the avalanche was shit. Yeah. The tornado was shit. Yep. At points. Not yep. all of it, but like especially when he was um, taking apart all the vehicles, that looked awful. Yeah, it looked like uh, something from one of those n- newer sort of DC shows like Superman and Lois or something. or The Flash, I reckon. Of the Flash. Yeah, yeah. That's some pretty shitty CGI. CW shit. CW. Um, yeah. I don't know if it was that bad, but it was bad. Oh, there were hints of that for sure. And in the temple, there was a point in the temple. With I like the remember. electricity running around Jim Carrey's body. I thought that was pretty junky as well. Yeah, just like little things at points where you're like, oh man. We could be super critical about this, but with a, with a movie... Good thing we haven't been. Uh, but with a movie like this, you would expect some sort of standard for the CGI. Yeah. If you're getting movies like Avengers Endgame, which is a big, big comparison, but if a yeah, studio... Yeah, I don't think you should not compare it to that. Come on, man. Yeah, that's true. That doesn't make, it's a lot that doesn't of, make sense. It's a lot comparison. more money. I'm going to pull you up right there and say that doesn't make sense, that comparison. But I'm just saying, like, a, a studio... Who 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 makes this? Who it's makes not fucking Marvel. It's pa- Paramount. Paramount, bro. Paramount can have enough money to pull through some really stellar effects. Yeah, but it's not Endgame. It's, Listen to this okay. guy. All right. Everybody, oh, no, no, everybody point at the stupid boy. Oh. Everybody look at the stupid boy. <laughs> you got me. You got me. <laughs> Come okay. on. That, what the hell is this guy on? About? No, no. I will admit that guy. is a bad comparison. That, that was, was a bad silly. comparison. 
But do you get me? There's a standard for modern day cinema with this CGI spectacle stuff. There's a standard for blockbuster cinema. Uh, yes, that's that's it. And that's it. You know, if you don't have enough money, then cut out the Siberia. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's that's perfect. Um, man, I I I don't know. Well, I I mean, we said at the start, but not fully fleshed out. The sister was just stupid. The, that yeah. whole bit, the the whole husband as well. Then yeah, being a the... cult, like that was such a weird beeline that it was just happened. Just so so strange to even think that we would care about that. And was that Wait, old dude? He was in the first one, wasn't he? He was like was the he? yeah. I think he was like one of the generals or some shit. See, this movie is about Sonic Hawaiian shirt. That's the thing. Yeah, don't get hung up on all these human characters. Let's have some human side plot. I think that's if the first movie, like if they, I had m- lots of hope for this movie. Yeah, because the first same. movie, I reckon, is passable, and I think it's everything. It, could have been in the due to the circumstances and all that shit. Yeah. All right. You had more f- more Sonic focus. Yeah. And then you had a bit of human shit. It was a bit cringy, but it's still a kids movie. I say it's just average. Sits in the middle. I gave it a five. Yeah. I'd stand by that. This one I thought was going to expand with all knuckles and tails and then get really deep into that shit. More deep in the into the Sonic lore. Yeah, but it didn't. Yeah. I don't know, man. What was just... up as well? Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not. You don't have to be sorry at all. You are amazing, and you should appreciate your voice. I'm so, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how come every time they just like like in the middle of a fight they just stop to have an exposition dump, <sighs> or like a plot? Some like you know. Telling them where they came from and their backstory. A backstory dump. What did, what did we say when we left the movie? And I think this point plays a big part in it. We said we, were we should leave. We should leave and we were exhausted. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I think the... We said, the why cons- is that lady trying to take this man's car spot? Yeah. What is she doing? What is she doing? Just be a good sport and let someone have the parking spot. Um, but yeah, it was exhausting. It's exhausting when you watch a bad movie because you want to leave. Although, this point, I liked the shadow tease. We yeah. knew it. It was predictable. Like he I was knew it be the was coming. Villain. I knew it was going to be the end credit scene. I think we talked about it even in the first episode of our Sonic stuff, our Sonic run. I got 15 minutes, no, uh, halfway through this movie and I was like, I reckon they're going to tease shadow. Shadow's going to be it. I just, yeah. you just know it. You just, yeah. you just know it, mate. I'm glad about that, but I'm worried now because... If the standard of this movie was so low, it this was poor. Hey, third time's a try, bro. Third time's a try. But if you I can't think, bring it back by then, man, you just it's just a no hope. I think the praise though, people don't seem to hate it. You know, some yeah. people like it. It's got sixty eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes. We, we have a very critical opinion of this movie compared to a lot of people. Yeah, and once again, we know it's a kids movie, but that still just isn't an excuse in my book to have shit writing and all that. I mean, you can make up your own opinion when you see the movie, but just take our points into hand because I see them as quite valid. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, same. Like we're showing you the light, um, but we're not controlling you, obviously. Um, your <laughs> time or do you have anything else to say yeah i'm i think i'm about ready for some trivia i liked oh i will say i liked them in their little snow gear tails and something. that was pretty cute that was yeah that's wholesome i liked that yeah that was like two bros going on an adventure um a small hologram of sonic is shown he is standing and tapping his foot this is what would have happened to the happened in the original sonic games if you didn't control him and left him standing oh wow that's kind of cool that's pretty sick um, oh, speaking of holograms, wasn't that a little uh, Star Wars tease when uh, old mate Hooters from the the Owl Lady, when she had the hologram and she was talking to Sonic, it was like a Princess Leia or like a Obi Wan sort of message. Maybe, or maybe they just did a hologram because that's a thing. Yeah, but it's definitely a, a Star Wars pull. All right, go on, mate. <laughs> You're a bit bad with comparisons, though, aren't you, mate? Me like, my everybody man. point at the stupid boy. Everybody point and look at the stupid boy. <laughs> oh, I just want to play Fun Park Party on the Wii. Tails is flying a red aeroplane in the movie and is similar to the one he flies in the games. Well, that's that's obvious. There we go. Yeah, but, yeah. We picked that. 
Oh, well, I guess that is a bit of trivia still, though, mate. That's, that's, bit... that's good, though. Well, you know, we made I, another link. I didn't read the trivia before we started, so I'm just kind of reading this as we go. I, I should that's have fine. I should have um got this one beforehand, but anyway. Yeah. Agent Stone's coffee shop is named the Mr. B- oh, is named the Mr. Bean. The it's me- called the Mean Bean. The Mean Bean, yeah. After the Sonic game Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine in 1993. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I like that little callback. See, at least we know they have a bit of uh, respect for this character. Yeah. And the universe. That's pretty cool. I like that. I wouldn't have known that because I didn't play the 1993 are- game. That's right. We, you know... But you were born in 1987, weren't you? Yeah, I just didn't get around to it, bro. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were being a mum then or something. Doesn't matter. Don't get in my backstory, <laughs> right? I've had Anyways, enough backstory dumps for one day. That's right. Too much exposition. Well, I you, think it's come to the you time. You go for the score first. You tell me your score first. Yeah, I'm just going to hit you with it. I don't think it's worth any more than four nugs out of ten. Well, I'm going to say three nugs out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. That's a wrap, people. This is the end of the episode. Thank you for listening to the Butts to Nuts podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast and want to support us, you can do any number of these three things. Number one. Tell a friend, a family member, or even a random person off the street to listen to our podcast. Number two. Leave a review. The higher the better. Number three. Follow and support us on our social media platforms, being Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all with the usernames Butts to Nuts. Again, thank you for listening. See you next week.